I think more established companies usually have more experience, more seasoned uh, people who who have seen a larger picture already, right? So let's say if you talk about an HDFC bank, they already know how to deal with RBI. They already know how to deal with compliance. They already know how small startups comes and goes. So their experience on those matters are much higher. Uh, teams are very redundant. Like you will never see something shutting down completely because of some random reason in a large bank, right? Um, versus in startups, you keep facing small, small problems, which also starts looking very big, right? So, I mean, everything differs when the company is very seasoned, the staff is very seasoned, uh, the people executing are very seasoned, the trust in the market is very high. Um, versus for a startup, they keep struggling for all these things till the point they become massively big. So execution style is also very different. Let's say a lot of sign-offs are needed when you're trying to execute in a large company versus uh, in a small startup. I mean, you can get started with something very quickly that also results in quick failures as well, which usually doesn't happen in large organizations. So I think execution style, culture style, stability, sustainability, all those things are very different from a large enterprise versus a startup. I think pros and cons are very uh, critical yeah. because I think in some places you can also create a big time bomb within a small startup as well by executing something wrong way, right? Because sometimes people will come in, they will think, hey, I'll just execute this. Let's see what happens. That let's see what happens can also convert into a suicide mission versus in large companies, it doesn't happen. So there's definitely a lot of pros and cons. Like, like for, for a startup, right, you are usually one or two levels away from a founder versus in a bank, even the top hierarchy has at least three to four levels of gap, right? Or sometimes even more, right? I mean, how many country heads are reporting directly to the board? Very less in a large bank, right? Versus in a startup environment, you are usually one or two hierarchy below the founder. So your decisions are definitely very quick because you're sitting with the board every day. Uh, but that also comes as a, at a cost. I mean, sometimes it results into a positive outcome, sometimes in a negative outcome. I think both have their own ups and downs uh, in terms yeah. of execution. Some people prefer uh, working for large companies. Some people prefer working for small companies or startups. Uh, I think it's a DNA that an individual holds and then they decide what where to go for.